previously on Tiny Home Studio Build series, I started building my own tiny home studio from the ground up. My name's Alicia and welcome to episode three of my tiny home studio build. I'm excited to be teaming up with Home Hardware. They have backyard packages available from garages and sheds to decks and fences. I'm building one of their bunky builds behind me and this is an all woman build. Today I'm getting my exterior sheathing on and then I'm going to work on my roof. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and follow along on my journey while I create my own tiny home build. Here's how. Because I'm doing this build by myself, I'm going to be needing to lift four by eight sheets of half inch plywood to do my sheathing around the exterior. And because those boards are going to be super hard to hold up on my own and put them on the actual building, I'm putting on a temporary two by four along the bottom base of my shed here. That way I'll be able to rest my plywood on it where I want it in place and then screw it on. I've temporarily put on this four by eight sheet, which is covering my window space. And so what I'm gonna do is trace along the back and then take out my two temporary screws. That way I'll be able to cut this huge cutout with the circular saw. It's a lot easier to do it this way. And then I'll be able to get on my next piece. And what I'm doing is I'm actually adhering on the four by eight plywood with every six inches doing a screw all the way around and making sure that I get into the studs. So all of my four by eight sheets are actually lining up with all the 16 by centers that I did for my wall joist, which works out perfectly. So I'm basically putting three pieces all the way across and then I'm able to get everything cut into place for doors and windows. Wow. Having this as an all women build is super empowering. And because of that, I wanna leave you with a quick quote. Dreams don't work unless you do. And it was a dream of mine to be able to do this. In the comment section, leave me your best quote to inspire someone to get to it and live their dreams.
happy with the progress I've made so far on my tiny home studio build. I think it's pretty incredible that so far I've been able to build this entire thing myself. When you're building a project like this and you wanna do it as a project all on your own, there's a few little things you can do along the way to help you to be able to support up high boards or be able to lean things while you do the handwork of doing nails and screws, which is what I did with my two by fours on the side of these huge boards. Lifting them myself and holding them would be kind of impossible and so being able to put on that two by four to support the boards while I did the work really helped me out. So sometimes you just have to be a little bit innovative on how you can get the work done. But right now I have almost all of my exterior walls up, which really brings this whole build to life. I'm excited for the next step, which is to get my roof trusses on. Then I can finish my actual roof with the plywood. That's gonna be a bit of a challenge to get all that up there, but I can do it. And if I can do it, you can do it. Head to homehardware.ca. They have backyard packages available for any type build you'd want for your backyard, which makes this build possible for me because it comes with all the blueprints I need to be able to do the assembly myself. It really helps me not having to figure out how to do this build by myself and make my own plan. So having these come free with purchase of materials really helped me out. I'm really excited about the rest of the journey. If you're excited too, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my playlist if you missed episodes one and two, because if you wanna see how this is being built from the ground up, you can watch it on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you on the next video.